Given that today was a very special occasion for my family, I felt it was great to put on some makeup. And now we're home, so it's time to wash off this look right here. It's very easy, one, two, three, boom, bada, bing. Hemp soap, I got this at my local Marshalls. The PMV silicone brush. I'm going to wash my hands really good, lather them up nice with my hemp soap, and then scrub a dub dub all over until I feel like it's pretty clean. Round two. I'm going to apply a little bit of coconut oil and just gently wipe in circular motions around my eyelash area. This is my virgin and unrefined coconut oil go-to product I like. Here we go. Rub it ever so gently. Alright, so now I'm jumping into round three of using the hemp bar soap try to avoid your eyeball and under eye area using that um, cleansing tool i feel like my skin is very clean i am going to pat dry my face and then that's when i introduce the shea butter to my skin and i'll show you how i apply that this is 100 percent african shea butter i purchased it in brooklyn Put it on my palm, and you see, it's a little moisture, a little glisten. And voila! I like to lift my moisturizing product upwards. That is my new makeup removal routine. As you can tell, I am learning and growing with my skin journey. And I am thoroughly enjoying the more natural way that I am trying to go. So I used less products than usual, less factory and lab-based products like Neutrogena. Um, this time I just used hemp product, a silicone type of facial cleansing tool, and a bit of virgin and unrefined coconut oil, just a dash for the eyelids to eliminate the extra buildup from the mascara and the eyeliner. And then I went and moisturized my face with a very thick, rich, nutrient-based, 100% shea butter. I love it. My face is red, as you can tell, and pink. Because I am light-skinned, it looks like I was aggressive and rubbing myself with some towel or Brillo pad, which is not the case. The top key to this all is to hydrate. Hydrate, drink plenty of water.